everybody, welcome to the Brewology Experience. I'm Billy. I'm Doug, and today we're going to talk about five beer styles everyone should know about, and we're going to use local Connecticut beers to, uh, to serve as examples of those styles. And today, the first one is going to be, uh, it's going to be a Pilsner. Yeah, we're going to look at a Pilsner from uh, Counterweight Brewing. From Counterweight. Called uh, Workhorse Pilsner, and um, we've actually never tried this one. No, before. this one we haven't. Yeah, we like no. Counterweight. Yeah. Uh, we, we like their IPA, Headway, Wizard yeah. Fight. Space Coyote, they've got some good beers. They've got some really good stuff. Uh, but we've never had this Pilsner before. So uh, so we're going to start with uh, talking about what a Pilsner is. Yeah. So, Doug, can you explain like what, what a Pilsner really is? Well, it's a German-style lager. So lagers okay. typically um, are cleaner, crisper. They use a different yeast from ales. So your two types of beer are, are lagers and ales. Okay. And so lagers use uh, bottom-fermenting yeast. They have to ferment at cold temperatures, and they ferment out very clean and crisp. So, um, you know, some of the the what we call American adjunct lagers, mm -hmm. uh, like Budweiser, are are lagers. They're they're a form of pilsner, um, but they have adjuncts in them that are not um, that are not barley, like okay. things to lighten them up, like rice and corn. Right. So and we're looking for like a lighter color in the so glass. So it's going to be a light color. Okay. It's going to be a very clean, dry finish. Uh, maybe a little bit of sweetness, maybe it might smell a little sweet. Um, typically not a hoppy style, mm -hmm. although the one we're looking at today has been dry hopped. So we're going to have a hoppy aroma, I would expect, okay. but maybe not so much of a hoppy taste. So, All right. uh, All right. yeah, let's, see what, let's it, see, it. see what it's like. I'm excited. I'm excited for this one. Because we've, uh, like we said, we've had counterweight before, but this one... You know, we've never had this one, and I'm pretty excited about this. So, uh, go ahead. You do the so honors. So, this one comes in at 5% uh, ABV. So, Pilsners are going to be typically low on the lower um, amount of alcohol. And let's see if we're correct in our predictions about, you know, color, color yeah. consistency, smell. Because it is, you said, double hopped, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look how... Yeah, that's... This is like the worst pour in the world. Yeah, that's right. okay. That's good. It's nice head on that. Yeah. Yeah, look at that color. I mean, it's... It's light. It's a beautiful color. I, it's not as clear as I would expect a typical Pilsner to be. I, mm -hmm. I can't I can't actually see through this. No, beer. you can't. This you cannot. Um, and that could be due to the dry hopping process, which would leave some some suspended uh, proteins and mm -hmm. and it sounds nasty, but vegetable matter from the hops right. uh, in the in the dry hop process. But it's a beautiful color. Yeah, no, it's a really good color. So let's see if I it like smells. It. Actually, it doesn't smell crazy hoppy. I don't smell too many hops in there at all. No. It actually... It smells like a Pilsner. It does smell like a Pilsner. Like, if, if I had, like, a Budweiser next to me, I would... It would be hard to tell. Well, it smells better than You know, well, of course it does, but... Hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, that's... That's clean. It's very clean. I'm getting, like, a grassy taste. Yeah, I'm not. No? <laughs> I just think it's very clean, like it goes down very smooth, like there's no, no bitterness, nothing, no, no like after bite to it, like it doesn't, it's no, just very, right. very clean. Yeah, it's very clean. I like very, it. Very like warm weather yeah. kind of thing. So if you're looking for like a lighter beer, something like, almost like a Budweiser, you know, this, I think this, this will blow them out of the water. This is, this is fantastic. Yeah. I could drink this, you know, on the beach. On a boat. Yep. This is good. This is a good. Uh, this is a good style to get somebody into craft beer. You mm -hmm. know, because they they're used to drinking pilsners if they're you know use if they drink like Bud or whatever. Yeah. So this is a good way of getting them into like this is a really high quality pilsner. Yeah, like stepping you up know. the game a little bit. Like I, I like to use my mother in law as an example because every time <laughs> we go to a brewery with her, she's like, "Do you have anything that tastes like Mick Ultra?" <laughs> And they're like, get out. <laughs> <laughs> they always steer her towards their pilsner, you know. Um, yeah, this is this is yeah. great. I am getting this like a grassy. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. Your palate's much better than mine. I don't know. It smells great. Yeah, I could definitely drink that by the pool. Almost like like peas. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I believe it's you. not a it's not a bad thing. It's good. But uh, yeah, that's. That's a tasty pilsner. No, that's very good. Yeah. I like it. Highly recommend it. So this is Counterweight, guys. Okay, Workhorse. 
Highly recommend it. It's their Pilsner beer. Go out and get it. Trying to see what does it have here? Well, grassy lemon. You, oh, you, you, there we you, go. You called it dry hopped, grassy lemon. Yeah, nothing about peas in here though. 